stores are finally open, so I went out in search of precious metals today. It was a crazy day, so I want to bring you along on my shopping spree. Please note that the opinions expressed in this video are my own. I am not a financial expert nor a financial advisor. You should always do your own research before making any financial decisions. So as I explained in my last video, uh, the stores are opening back up today and I decided to visit uh, all of the local coin shops that were open. To my surprise, uh, when I uh, made some phone calls this morning, half of them were either closed or had no precious metal to sell at all. Thankfully, a few of them were open, so I decided to, vi to visit them all. So if you remember from uh, the video last week, I was telling you that uh, visiting your local coin shop would be a great idea because they would be very motivated to sell I will let you judge if my predictions was correct or if I was completely wrong. The one thing that took me by surprise is that I was expecting the stores to be super busy today, uh, you know, with people not having been able to buy for over two months now. So I was expecting stackers to go out and purchase as much as they could, like I wanted to do. And people were in financial difficulty to go to sell uh, their precious metals. But uh, when I got to the stores, uh, they were all pretty quiet and uh, every merchant told me that, nope, it's, uh, it's been a quiet day and not, not a lot of uh, stuff going on. So let's have a look at uh, what I was able to purchase. Okay. So I was only able to make uh, three purchases out of uh, all of the stores I visited. So for my first visit, I went to the uh, local coin shop that is the closest to my home. Uh, this is actually where I made my first precious metal purchase uh, ever. Uh, at that time, I purchased uh, eight one ounce uh, silver bars and that was back in November of 2019. The owner unfortunately did not have any silver, but what he had available was beyond my expectations. So the first item I purchased from him was this 5 gram gold bar from Valcambi. So Valcambi Suisse. Uh, these are usually super expensive. They have very high premiums. Let me try to zoom in on this. There we go. So uh, yeah, so normally I don't uh, buy that type of stuff because it's, uh, it's too expensive. Uh, you're paying uh, maybe like twice the normal premium uh, when you go with them. but uh, in this case, the deal he was making me was really, really hard, really hard to resist. So he was asking for a premium of 11% on it, uh, which is crazy low considering the size of the bar and the market right now. Uh, I've been purchasing uh, gold for, uh, for two months now, I would say and the premiums have kept going up and uh, we were now in the range of the 20% for one ounce. Uh, and so on a five gram like that, I would expect to pay like maybe 25% or at least 20%. So at 11, it's the type of premium that uh, we were seeing before the crash on a bar of that size. Uh, so that's very, very interesting. So in terms of numbers, um, he was charging $430 Canadian for it. So that's uh, 307 US dollars. Uh, and in terms of premium, that's uh, about $45 Canadian or $32 US. Uh, for something that is uh, about the sixth of an ounce, it's a really, really good price. Uh, so I couldn't resist, I purchased that one for sure. Let's put this one aside. Put it there. So the other thing I purchased from him Is this uh, Pam Suisse? Uh, it's a uh, palladium, so it's a five gram bar as well. And uh, wait until you hear the price on this thing. Let me just uh, get closer to the camera. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'd uh, given up on the idea of purchasing palladium because in Canada, palladium is taxable. And uh, when you calculate that you have to add 15% tax on top of the normal premium, which is pretty high on these type of metals, uh, I just uh, decided, you know, I'm not gonna spend like 30 or 40% uh, premium and tax on top of the precious metal in order to purchase it. It's, it makes no sense. It's gonna be too hard to, uh, to either uh, break even or even make any profit from it so uh so in my mind like there was no way i would ever have any uh, palladium in my stack but listen to the offer he made me and why i had to purchase it so the first thing is he was asking the same premium uh that he was asking for the gold which was 11 percent which normally on palladium it's it's more in the 20% range as well. It's like, uh, like even when there's no crisis or anything, palladium usually sell with a much higher premium because there's much less demand for it. Uh, so at 11%, it's, it's crazy low, especially for a bar of that size because the smaller you go, the higher the premiums are. Yeah, so the other thing is he wasn't charging tax on it. So the 11% was the total premium I would have to pay on, on the bar. Uh, so I just couldn't resist, I purchased it as well. So the price I ended up paying for it was uh, $480 Canadian, uh, which is uh, $343 US. And the premium was the same as for the gold, so it was $45. It might have been like a dollar or two or more. It's, uh, I made a rough calculation. So about $45 Canadian, so an, an, again, $32 US uh, for, uh, for the premium, uh, which I'm super happy about. I could not believe I could find that uh, today. And that was the, only the first visit. I already had spent pretty much uh, all of my budget. Uh, when I left this morning, I decided, well, maybe $1,000 today would be a good amount to spend. Uh, so I ended up paying 910 out of it. So I, I was left with $90. So heading to the second store, on my mind, the only thing I could really get was uh, either a one gram uh, gold uh, coin, maybe if I was really lucky or uh, silver, uh, if I could find it for a cheap enough amount. So when I got to the second store, uh, they told us that the uh, office was, clo was closed completely and that they only did business online now. So we already have one victim of uh, the pandemic in terms of local coin shops. So I left there and I went to Kitco. Uh, but I was refused entry at the door. The, the woman told me that uh, they are doing online business, but they're not receiving uh, customers right now at their office. I asked her when they were planning to open back up and she had no date. So they might have lost me as a client. I'll have to decide later on, but I don't know. It's, uh, it seems like since the start of the crisis, Kitco has been doing really terrible customer service. Uh, what they had available during the crisis was uh, super expensive and they had so limited stock in Canada like uh, in the US they had some stuff available but in Canada it always said well nothing available. I don't like to support businesses that do things like that so I might uh, just end up uh, spending my money elsewhere from now on. In the same building where Kitco is located uh, is a lot of jewelry stores and other stores uh, that sell precious metals. Um, one of them, uh, I've already made a, a few purchases from them. Um, I made, uh, I believe, three or four purchases during the crisis, uh, and so I went to see him. Unfortunately, uh, he had gold, but it was only in half ounce and one ounce uh, size, so I had no money for that. And the silver he was selling were maple leaf. Uh, he had a good price on them. Uh, he was asking $30 for them, uh, where the other dealers are charging $33 to $34 right now. So it was a good price, but it wasn't what I was looking for. I was really looking for something close to spot uh, and more uh, in terms of bars or uh, rounds. Like I, didn't, I don't really put a big value on the fact that the, um, the, the Maple Leafs are bullion and that they are recognized by the country or anything like that. I don't think it makes any difference here when we sell. From what I was told by dealers is uh, like it can make a difference in price, but usually it doesn't. So, and if it does, it's so small that it's not worth the extra premium you're paying for it. Uh, so paying an extra two or three dollars and maybe getting one dollar back for the, the fact that it's a Maple Leaf is not worth it for me. So as I was leaving the building, I asked the security guard if he knew any other uh, stores in the building that were selling precious metals uh, in terms of bullions and coins. And he, he told me that there was one on the 10th floor, so I decided to go. Um, and so 
that guy, uh, when I asked him if he, uh, my, my typical question, like, do you sell any silver, do you sell any uh, gold, any platinum in forms of bar or bullions? He said, yeah, sure, I have all three. So, so I was absolutely ecstatic. Yeah, like I've been searching for platinum for three months now, and the only time I can find it, it's always at a crazy high premium, like 40%, and it's not an amount I'm willing to, to pay for it. Um, so. I asked him, trying to remain calm, uh, what he had and, you know, uh, what he was asking for it. And you have to remember that I have like $90 left now, so I, I, it would have to be a really, really good de deal into, for me to, uh, to decide to purchase it. So anyway, I asked him to, to look it up. What he had uh, was a Valcambi Swiss um, uh, one ounce bar and uh, he was asking $12.75 for it. At this point, when he's telling me that, I, I don't know what the, the premium is and what is the percentage of the cost of acquisition, but I do know that the price is really low because I've been looking at the price of platinum for the last months and it's usually in the 1400 range in terms of price and when you go to, uh, to silver, gold, bull or the, or the other online dealers. So I knew it was low, I just didn't know how low it was. So I took out my phone, went uh, to, uh, to the internet and looked up the, uh, the spot price. And uh, it was basically charging 7.5% on it, which is something I have never seen on, in terms of platinum. Platinum always have crazy high premiums. I think the lowest I have seen before the crisis was around 25%. Uh, he was asking $12.75 and uh, the spot price was at $11.85. Um, so that's a $90 Canadian premium uh, that he was asking. I said, okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> do you accept, like, uh, can I pay white debit or something? He said, no, the only mode of payment I accept is cash. So I said, okay, uh, hold on. I'll, uh, I'll run to the nearest ADM and I'll, uh, make a, uh, I'll withdraw some money and I'll be right back. So I did that and I came back and purchased it. So this is the bar that he sold me. So this is my very first platinum bar. I have been looking and looking and looking for that. I, uh, I am super happy to get it. And yeah, before I forget, um, uh, while I was at the first dealer, he had the pro version of the Sigma testing machine for precious metals. So he was able to show me like when you put your bar under what it does. And it's a little bit different than the one I've seen on uh, other videos uh, um, where the, the basic model is like a black and white uh, display. That one uh, is in color and uh, it has two readings. So basically it will read uh, the surface of the of the uh, the item and it also have a second reading for a, a more in-depth uh, Scan of the metal so you can know basically with that machine if uh, it's a plated uh, Fake coin for example, or if it's a real coin because it can read both so that was really nice I asked him if I uh, he would be willing to uh, to test some of my other purchases uh, So he said yeah sure as long as it's not like a huge ton of uh, items like I said no just uh, you know some of the items that uh, I really want to make sure that they are a real one and not fakes um, So he said yeah sure no problem so of course the next time I'm gonna go there I'm gonna bring them and uh, have them tested but uh, yeah if that machine wasn't like two thousand dollars I would dis definitely purchase one it's uh, I think it's a great tool uh, I think every dealer should have one. So I was really, really happy to see him having it and it being able to, uh, to test the metals. And he said, well, anyway, I, put, I test every metal every time I receive them now. So like I was able to catch a few fakes. People were trying to pass me with it and <laughs> it, it paid for itself in no time. So it's uh, like if you're a coin dealer, I would strongly suggest you get that one, the pro version, uh, because it's much more reliable than the standard model. So to come back to the, uh, the platinum here, um, so the coin ended up costing me uh, $12.75 Canadian and that is at $910 US. The premium was 90 Canadian. I uh, did not make the calculation, but if you want to do it, it's like uh, it's 40% less. So uh, probably something around $60 or something at US in terms of premiums, which is really, really low. So when I left there, uh, I had one more store uh, planned on my visit. I did not expect to or want to purchase anything because I was really way over budget now uh, with the purchase of the uh, Platinum. 
but uh, yeah, so I went uh, to a new store I had never visited visited before. So when I asked the owner, he told me, no, I, I don't sell any gold or platinum and I don't have any silver bullions or bars or rounds or anything like that right now in stock. But he said, uh, I just received a large order of uh, pre-1967 uh, Canadian 80% silver. So if you're into uh, circulation coins, uh, I could sell those to you, like I have a lot of them. And uh, actually I can give you a 40% discount on them. So when he said 40% discount, I, was, I didn't know what he meant because usually like pe the, the dealers are trying to sell uh, like as, as low as possible. So I, I wouldn't, I didn't understand he could make such a large discount, but uh, I accept to, to look at what he had. And it made sense because everything he had was, uh, was not like a call or a bad condition coins. It was either AU or MS condition uh, coins. So normally those have a pretty high premium on them. Uh, so at 40%, basically, if I was to purchase the lowest grade that he had, I could get it for spot. He said, well, I'm going to give you 40%, but I'm not going to go below spot. So if it comes below spot, I'm going to charge you spot. So I made the, the, I took out my calculator and made the, 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 uh, the math and anything below $25 would come out um, at spot uh, because uh, of the amount of silver in the coins and everything. So I went through the pile and I found like 10 items that I could get from spot, uh, for, for spot price. Of course, by that time, I didn't have any money really to spend. So I had like 40 bucks on me, $45. So I decided to purchase what I could with that. Uh, so those are the, uh, the three coins that I got. So two of them uh, are AU condition and they are 1939, sorry, so 1939, um, so here's what it looks like. So AU is just below MS in terms of grading. So it's like uh, MS starts at 60. So that might be 59 or 58 or 57 grade, something like that. They look really, really good. AU is the highest grade uh, for uh, when it's a circulation coin. When it's MS, normally it's mint state. So it's, uh, it, me it means that it hasn't been in circulation. Uh, in these case, I think they all go into circulation. So when they're graded MS, it's just that they haven't received any damage really uh, when they were. So that's the second one. And the third, so if you look at the prices, yeah, so those two were $20 each. So I, I ended up uh, paying uh, $14 and uh, 32 cents for them, which in US uh, dollar would be $10.23. Um, so in terms of price per ounce, uh, that would be $23.87 Canadian or $17.05 US, uh, which is spot price. Uh, so I really can't go wrong with that because these have numismatic value. If I resell them, I'm going to be able to resell them for higher than the spot price for sure. And this one here is even better shape. So this one is uh, an MS-62 um, and uh, it's a 1961. It's a different design on the silver dollar. It's a new design that uh, they introduced. I don't really know when the, the design was introduced, but it's one of the... Uh, that was the last design they did um, for the silver dollars, I believe. Um, so this one was supposed to sell at 23, but it came out again uh, to spot price at 1432. Um, this here, that out. So these coins are basically the equivalent of uh, the Morgans in the US. So as you know, Morgans have a pretty nice uh, premium that you can retain when you resell them. It's the same thing with these coins here. So overall, I think this was an amazing day. I ended up spending uh, 2,228 Canadian dollars, so that would be uh, 1,591 US dollar. Um, I usually don't get over budget, but for every single one of those purchases, I felt I had no choice. The deals were just too good to pass up. And Next week, I'm hoping to go back to the place that had the silver for sale and hoping he has some left and then I can uh, clean them up. <laughs> so uh, hopefully he won't sell too much uh, this week and I'm going to be able to, uh, to add a lot of these items uh, to, uh, to my stack. That was my day. How about you? Uh, were you able to find any amazing deal? Uh, are your stores reopened? If, and if they're not reopened yet, I strongly suggest you put some money aside and try to get the great deals when they do because as you can see, uh, all of these items were selling at uh, pre-crash levels, basically even lower, because 
things like that, uh, like that have premiums over 20%, we're selling at 11 right now. So I think the merchants are really hungry, they want to make money and they want to sell right now. Uh, so try to take advantage of it. So for next week, um, I'm trying to decide between doing either a full stack update video for the six months of stacking I've been doing, or I could do a video to uh, try to clean the coins that I purchased that are all uh, milk spotted. So let me know what you want to see in the next uh, video. Uh, just leave a comment below and I'm gonna take it into account uh, when I decide to make the next video. As always, if this video was useful to you, share it with your friends and make sure that you like and subscribe to see the video I post every week. Also, if you have not watched uh, this video yet, I invite you to do so. Uh, it's an interview I did with uh, one of my local coin shop uh, owners uh, and he explains how he buys and sells. So it would give you a good real insight into the, uh, the mind of a coin dealer. The guy is really passionate about what he does and he was a real pleasure to talk to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.